Hi guys, my name is Deep Turing Lepcha and I would like to welcome you to the short video tutorials. In the previous video, I showed you how to actually secure your router by just implementing enable secret password and enable secret password is a little bit secure than the enable password and when you configure the enable secret password, it's going to actually overwrite your enable password. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually crack the enable secret that is based upon the message digest 5 that means the md5 hashing algorithm so let's begin so i'm going to open up my router console and it is based upon the secure crt and then i'm going to hit enter there you can see the user exit mode i'm going to type enable and then hit enter it asks you the password so I'm going to type CCNA that is uh, the enable secret password if I'm going to run show running configuration that means I'm going to view the contents within the RAM I'm going to hit enter at that time it shows me the enable secret as well as the enable password the enable password is actually secured with the service password encryption and the enable secret is actually secured with the md5 hash so what we are going to do is i'm going to just select this so that i can copy it on the web browser so i'm going to open up google chrome and then let's start let's say cisco md5 cracker right hit enter it shows you that uh, Cisco iOS enable secret type 5 so I'm going to right click on it and then open in a new tab open up there you can see the type 5 password if I'm going to go back to the console it shows me the type 5 right so let's go to the web browser and then I'm going to paste my password over here and then let's start by cracking it so crack password so it showed me that uh, it has four strings that means four characters and then it is actually trying to brute force that password that means it's going to take a little bit of time other than just the enable password so it will take time that means that enable secret is also not that much secure but the thing is that the more complex password you're going to actually apply on the routers the more harder it's going to be to crack the password so i prefer using big passwords because uh, i only use that for character password right so don't actually use those kind of uh, less letter passwords or less character passwords always try to uh, let's say combine the special characters the alpha numerical value so that it can be more harder to actually crack or to decrypt so this is how you can actually try to crack the enable secret password by going through IFM and uh, you can crack the MD5 password over here as well but it's going to take a little bit of time so you need to wait for that so this is it for this video. I'm going to meet you on my next video. So kindly like, share and then subscribe. Thank you guys.